Hello friends, welcome back to the Node-RED tutorial series. As of now we have seen how we can use Node-RED either by installing it as a container in a docker of the PLC or we can use a PLC which is coming with the pre-installed Node-RED. But the Node-RED was meant to work for the IoT application using MQTT protocol which means the, all the sensors are sending the data to the cloud or the remote control unit. So let's see how we can do this by connecting to the AWS cloud directly from the PLC. So in the last tutorial we were able to read all the IO data from the PLC directly into the node -read. So now let's publish all this data to the AWS cloud. So in order to do that we need to add MQTT and we need to configure the server or the broker. So in order to do that we need to first go to the AWS IoT core and we need to add a device so create a device or create a thing so in the first page we will be getting some instruction so basically what it, here we need to do is we need to copy the command to ping uh, the url from the plc whether it is able to connect or not so once we are able to connect so i'm doing ssh and pinging it from the plc so it is connected on the internet so it is able to ping so we can go to the next and provide a name to the device or the thing so there are other uh, optional feature which we can enable but I am leaving it for that right now and we can go on to the next where we will be configuring all other parameters. So here we need to select what kind of OS and what application type I am going to use. So for me it is Linux and Node.js uh, application I have selected then we can go to the next and then we can download from here the kit. So download kit means uh, it will be having all the certificates. Uh, available so let's download the kit and then we can also copy the command which is given for unzipping it so let's copy that command and once it is downloaded let's go to the folder open the command line and give the command so in my system I don't have unzip so a lot of people can face this issue so we can directly also unzip it, it is nothing uh, different. So we can directly right click and unzip it in the same folder structure. So inside the folder if we see, we will be having all the required certificates. Okay, so this certificate will be needed for the TLS connection. So, uh, when we have created the thing, uh, after final creation, it will also create the policy. So which will be utilized for connection, subscription and publishing. So everything if you see here, it by default create one uh, Wago policy. Mago PLC policy with the same name, whatever we are given the name for the thing. Okay, so this will be, we will be also checking why it is needed and how exactly we can utilize it. So first uh, thing which we need to get is the endpoint URL, uh, which we can go into the setting and we can get because that will be needing for the configuration, server configuration. Okay, so that we will put it here in the configuration and then we will be enabling the TLS. So when we will configure the TLS part, then it will show and ask for the certificate. So first is the device certificate, which we need to add. Second is the private key certificate, which we need to add it here. And third one is the root certificate. So Amazon root certificate normally uh, are common. It doesn't change much uh, for the particular user. So, but it has not got downloaded. Okay, so in order to get it easy, what we can do is we can create uh, quickly another device and in that one we will be getting all the required certificate even the root certificate also we will get so that is the easiest method i found so once it is created so we need to configure here the policy i'm just creating another policy just to check and once all things are done when we go to the next here we will see all the certificates are there and it also contains the root certificate. So I will just download the root certificate and then we can utilize it, it in the configuration. So once it is downloaded, yeah, we can go back to the node configuration and there we can instance it. So we can browse and upload it and here it is uploaded and it is done. So all the configuration are done here. So now there's no other configuration is needed and we can 
uh, save it so once we save it and deploy we can see that it should get connected but sometime uh, if you are seeing it is still showing in the connecting why it is showing in the connecting because the policy which was created by default uh, during uh, the creation of the, the wago user thing so this issue can also be fixed so it is not allowing it to connect properly so what we need to do is we can go back to the policy and once we are in the policy we can configure it edit it and we can configure it for one option which will help us to get it connected so add here a new so edit it first so once we are in edit yeah we can add new and we can provide in both the places as a star a star means everything is allowed for this particular connection so once we have done and save it and make it is as a active policy the version which we have done then if you see it is getting connected so that is the easiest method to get connected by providing uh, by default the star in all the fields so once it is connected now we can be able to publish the data so in order to publish data we need to create a topic so topic we can create and we can uh, provide also the quality so let's configure it and connect it and deploy the noted instance so what we can do we can go to the mqtt test client and we can provide the same topic name here and subscribe for it so just copy from here and we'll paste it and click on the subscribe so once we subscribe we can see that the data flow will start coming so so let's go to the mqtt test client and we can yeah see here the data has started coming once we have injected so in this way we can publish the data so all the data it is whenever it is getting changed it is getting published and it is almost in the real time environment so this is the part of the publishing now we can also subscribe so for example we have any other mqtt sensor like temperature sensor or anything which is already connected which we can directly connect so for that we need to have mqtt in because we have to read it and we need to also configure here the topics so topic when we configure so let me first configure the topic and then and then uh, to read the value i will put here a node called show value and it is connected and then we can deploy there and we can here also uh, put a topic with the for the publish part but what i have done is uh, i have created or uh, i have developed one mqtt sensor which is pushing the temperature data into the aws cloud and then it is come we we can subscribe and i'm subscribe it to the plc part so if you see here uh, there's a dst sensor for the temperature and humidity which is getting so reading the data uh, atmosphere data and sending it to the M, uh, aws cloud and that is on the change of the value uh, that is what i am reading it into the plc so basically in this way means we can have any um, uh, any sensor which is having mqtt facility which can connect directly to the cloud and then in the plc we can also read it uh, by utilizing the node read and mqtt in feature so we can read all the changing data into the plc directly so in this way means we can uh, do our first iot application where we can be able to put any of our sensor and send this data over the mqtt broker and from the broker we can connect any number of client uh, which can fetch the data so either it can be plc or any devices so in this way we can be connected to the iot world thanks for watching that's all for this video uh, see you in the next one